Today, we are opening up the brand new Pokemon Paldea Adventure Chest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. What do you mean you've lost the treasure box? Are you, are you serious? I I mean, I haven't even finished filming the intro yet, so it's, it's like a little bit awkward here. Okay, so you, you generally don't know where it is. But you did find the professionally drawn treasure map to help us find it. Okay, I, I suppose we're just going to have to follow the map and, and find the treasure. Hey heroes, hope you're all having an amazing day. I'm Rai Kayen and thank you so much for checking out my brand new video. In today's video, we are opening up the brand new Pokemon Paldea Adventure Chest to see if we can find any treasure inside. And guys, here it is. Alrighty guys, I am so excited to open up this product because I've I've never seen like a Pokemon treasure chest product. It's like it's it feels completely new and it's very unique. So I'm excited to open up and see what is inside. So I, I genuinely don't actually know how to open this, so you're just gonna have to bear with me just a second here. Um so I think the plastic slides off of this. And then um I think okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna hold the camera while I film it because like it is a big treasure box guys uh, and here we go whoa okay so it kind of it opens up really weirdly um, but like there's there's a lot going on here guys bear with me a second a few moments later Alrighty guys, that was one of the most complicated Pokemon products I've ever opened, but inside we do have a Pokemon card deck box, uh, which is basically just cardboard, but it has a nice design on it. Alright guys, I'm not going to lie to you, I filmed that entire video and I didn't actually realise that I missed something in the treasure box, so if you take a closer look at the deck box that comes with it, and if you actually take the time to think, hmm, maybe we should open this. Um, I don't know why they hid it in here, but for some reason they hid like the best, the, the best part of the box, which is these promo cards inside. Uh, I, I genuinely, I can't believe I missed that. I filmed the whole video and I've had to now refilm this bit to put in the video. Uh, but guys, let's, let's open this up and take a closer look because this looks amazing. All right, guys, let's take a closer look at these hidden uh, promo card. We've got this amazing looking Pormo promo card. Like you can see the hollow texture on the border there. That actually looks really cool, I love that. Um, we've got the Paul Me uh, promo card. Again, it just, I, I don't know, there's like a certain sparkle to these promo cards. It just looks so good. Um, we have the Tan Mouse promo card, which again, just looks awesome. And guys, probably most people's favorite card that comes with this hidden treasure box this hidden promo card apparently the pikachu promo card we've got pikachu a poor me uh Spigatito and tandem mouse uh, this is genuinely one of the best promo cards i've seen in a pokemon product for a very long time so again i can't believe i missed that i'm so sorry but hopefully i would have figured it out and put that in the video by now Let's move on. Um, we also have a Pokemon theme, like a mini kind of portfolio binder there, uh, which is pretty cool. Um, we have 
some very fun themed Pokemon stickers. So you'll notice that Poor Me and Sprigatito are like the two mascot Pokemon for this product. So we're probably gonna be seeing them on quite a lot of the uh, items that come in this box. We also have, now this is really cool. This is like a new thing that Pokemon are doing. So we have some promo cards, but they come in like a, it kind of looks like a DIY kind of, um, uh, card holder kind of thing so I get what they're doing they're trying to you know utilize as much of the actual box as they can so we've obviously got this kind of cardboard frame here uh, which is pretty cool actually like it is it's very clever um, so we've got the poor me uh, the mouse grade I forget Yet, and the Sprigatito promo cards there, which is pretty cool. Uh, now, probably my favorite item in this box, which I had no idea it came with, is this little Pikachu um, toy. It's like a kind of a um, stress a stress Pokemon, that's it. Uh, so, you know, anytime you're getting stressed out and you're not getting good pulls, you've got the little Pikachu there to just help calm you down. Sorry, Pikachu. Um, and I'm going to show you guys this on camera in case you guys end up getting this product and it gets really confusing. So you've got like, so essentially you've got the box here and you're kind of freaking out because you're like, isn't this supposed to come with some booster packs? Um, if you open up this little front pocket here, here are all of the booster packs. So yeah, it's a little bit confusing, um, but at least we've got the booster packs and we know what we're doing here. The treasure box comes with, uh, we've got two packs of Obsidian Flames, one pack of Paldea Evolved, two Paradox Rifts, and a Scarlet and Violet pack. But guys, before we go ahead and open up the cards, you already know what time it is. It is of course time for... Lucky's Last Pack Magic. As you can see, our cat Lucky is all ready to help us pick which of these booster packs is gonna have the best Pokemon cards in them. So Lucky, are you ready sir? On the count of three, three, two, one, go, 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 go. And we're gonna keep a close eye on things here, but I think, I think he went for this Paradox Rift Pack right here. So that is today's last pack magic winner. As always, a thank you so much for your help, Lucky. As always, a big thank you to our cat Lucky for his help with this week's last pack magic. And we are going to start with Obsidian Flames. Here we go. Cocos. And I'm gonna guess a fire energy for the very first energy guess of the day. And it is a lightning energy. Here we go with the first pack from the Paldea Adventure Chest. So I should probably catch you guys up a little bit because I'm doing like a weekly video now. So there is quite a lot going on. So in terms of my personal life, Charlie is turning one in about two weeks time, which is just crazy. This year has gone by so fast and it's just been amazing seeing him develop. Uh, he's crawling very fast. He can basically walk by himself now um, and he can kind of talk a little bit. He can say mama. He's kind of still working on dada. So, you know, we'll get there. We'll get there. Um, Kaylee has also just returned from maternity leave. So it's obviously been a big change for her, um, but she's doing an absolutely amazing job. Um, Charlie has started childcare now that we're uh, both back at work, uh, but he seems to be enjoying it. He's having a good time uh, kind of making some new friends. Um, we have a reverse hollow litwick and our final card of the first pack is nope. oh wait yeah no these come with two reverse hollows sorry i completely forget it's a scarlet and violet era thing our final card of the first pack is a sco villain hollow card all right guys we are staying on the scarlet and violet packs here we go Cocod. And I'm gonna guess a leaf type energy for the second pack. Oh, we have a steel energy. So as I was saying, a lot going on in our personal lives this month. I just saw the new Demon Slayer movie in the cinema and it was absolutely amazing. So if you are an anime slash Demon Slayer fan, I would highly recommend it. Uh, because it was a really cool start to like the fourth season. That was really cool. Um, we also have a wedding uh, which we'll be attending at the end of the month. Um, our good friends Matt and Lucy will be getting married, which is absolutely amazing, and we cannot wait to celebrate with them. So yeah, there, there is a lot going on this month. So um, bear with me if, if I uh, if I'm kind of a bit all over the place because there's a lot going on. Right, we've got two reverse hollows, so we've got a spoliv, we have a routes, and our final card is. A full art trainer card with Arvin right there, guys, on the second pack. We cannot complain at that. There we go. Alrighty, guys. I believe this is my first 
ever pack of Paradox Rift. So fingers crossed we can pull something good from it. Here we go. Cocos. I'm gonna guess a water energy for this one. Okay, we have a darkness energy. So those are all of the personal life updates. In terms of the world of Pokemon, there has been a lot going on, right? So we had Pokemon Day 2024. Um, there were quite a few big announcements, which I was not expecting. So we had a new Pokemon Go event announced. Uh, Pokemon Masters EX is celebrating four and a half years, I believe. Um, and there was also a brand new Pokemon Sleep trailer, which featured Raikou, which was pretty cool. Um, they also announced a brand new Pokemon trading card uh, pocket app so it's basically like digital Pokemon cards which I thought was like a really strange concept at first but it actually looks like it could work and um, they have this thing called immersive cards where you can literally it's like you're diving into the world of the artwork of that card so that seemed pretty cool um, and obviously the biggest announcement if you hadn't already seen it is a brand new Pokemon game in the works called Pokemon Legends ZA I believe that's how it's pronounced um, so that's currently in the works and that should be coming out next year um, but they, they really just dropped a teaser trailer and said nothing else about it so um, yeah it was kind of a bit of a mic drop um, but our final card of this pack is a Zekrom Hollow. Alrighty guys, back to Obsidian Flames. Here we go. Cocard. And I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna go back to Fire Energy. Okay, we have an unlisted Leaf Energy. Here we go. So, uh, Pokemon updates. Uh, the treasure box that we're opening now was released last week, so I think the 1st of March. Um, so if you're interested, you should be able to uh, find it online or in stores if you wanna uh, kind of open up the treasure chest for yourself. Um, we also have a new Japanese Battle Academy, uh, which is like a Pokemon pro card product coming out um, soon. And I think all of the cards were just revealed for that. So that was pretty cool. Uh, and we also have a few other updates. Um, just there's a lot going on in the world of Pokemon. Uh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Surskit, a Zigzagoon, and our final card is a Hollow Togekiss. There we go. Alrighty guys, Paldea Evolved. I have not opened a lot of this set, but fingers crossed we can pull something good. Cocard. I'm gonna guess a Lightning Energy. Oh, okay, we have a Darkness Energy. Here we go. So we also have two brand new Pokemon card sets which are coming out on the same day, I believe. So we've got the Japanese set Crimson Haze um, and the brand new English card set which will be Temporal Forces, which are both going coming out on the 22nd of March, I believe. Um, so I will try and be opening those up on the channel if I can. Uh, we've got a Reverse Hollow Palo Sand, a Tarantula, and our final card of the second last pack is... Oh, oh, there we go, guys. We have a Full Art Quaxwell card right there. I think that's, uh, is it Trainer Curry? I don't, I can't remember like the different rarities of it. That looks amazing. That's one of the best cards we've pulled in a while. So guys, that looks, oh man. Yeah, I can't complain. That looks so cool. Uh, we've also got one more card behind it and it's a Hollow Spirit Tomb. Uh, so not a way to, not a bad way to end the pack there. Alrighty guys, it all comes down to this. The final Pokemon card pack of today's opening with Paradox Rift. Fingers crossed we can pull something good. Here we go. And there is your final code card on screen for you there. I am going to have to guess a fire energy for the last pack. It is a lightning energy. Here we go with the final pack. So I feel like I've just been throwing random updates at you uh, just cause you know, it's nice to like catch up on things. And also sometimes there's just so much going on. I don't actually take time to process it. So I guess this is kind of helpful for me as well. Uh, but guys, let's focus up on the final pack here. So we have a literal garbage. Uh, we have a Dwebble, we have a light pod and our final card of today's opening is a hollow deoxys card alrighty guys it is of course time for ryan's recap of the day and we'll start with the hollow cards because we did pull quite a lot of them so we got the hollow deoxys the hollow skull villain we got the spirit tomb we got the togekiss card we got the zekrom and we also pulled 
the full art oven trainer card which looks amazing and probably my favorite pull of the day was of course the full art quaxwell card right there so guys it was a pretty good opening i enjoyed that i'm gonna go ahead and end the video there thank you so much as always for checking out my brand new video i really enjoyed opening this a brand new pokemon paldean treasure chest i do currently have a giveaway going on so in case you missed it check my last video um the winner will be announced on friday the 15th of march so just check out that last video leave a comment there and you'll be entered into the giveaway um i hope you enjoyed the video if you want to watch more click on one of these two videos up here i hope you have an amazing day and i will see you in the next one <laughs>